Yeah, welcome back to my channel, people. And uh, this is a very uh, interesting story I'm about to speak on. This is about the the predators in the Wagwan in the center and another era of Jamaica. So I'm gonna start by telling you what's going on with the with the thefts, and then I will interject and tell you um, the new development what's going on. It is kind of scary. But just stay tuned. So this is a uh, this is just an article from Loop News. I'm gonna read a little part of it first. At least two livestock farmers from communities in Southeast Saint Anne are appealing to the police to conduct more patrols there in the night to assist with the with um, deterring the predator thieves. Cattle and goat thieves are said to be wrecking havoc in the communities like Claremont, Golden Grove, Manig and other surrounding areas, leaving farmers deprived of sleep and in severe financial difficulties. Okay, so let me interject. There is a serious thing going on upon the coast, normally between St. and part of St. Mary and part of Portland. Most of you Jamaican and people around the diaspora um, may have heard about this trade going on between Jamaica and Haiti, which is called the, the weed figure and trade, right? Where the Jamaicans normally bring weed from boat and then get hold of a big machine, care back in the country. That's one of the biggest trade going on right now, illegally, illegal trade with between um, Jamaica and Haiti. So this one is a kind of new one. There is also a meat for gun trade. So, um, because of what's going on in Haiti with the poverty and everything, there is a lot of unpatrol borders between Jamaica and Haiti. So the, the fishermen, our so-called fishermen, the man who normally use boats, the, the, what, what, what they call them, the captain, because they have people with them pay to actually um, sail the, the boat to Haiti. The man them uh, depend on the vulnerability of the security forces and the JDF Coast Guard and the normal Marine Police. Them know exactly when to go to Haiti. Them know the time when the, the guard them patrol. So maybe the guard them, the, the Coast Guard them to a routine or something. So the man them I use that and I go through the net. I spoke to somebody who actually went to Haiti um, on numerous occasions numerous um, time and they said they actually go to Haiti, it is like home, then they go there like every week, um, every month. So the reason why I am I'm, I'm doing this video, I want to inform people to be proactive, right? If you if you're a farmer um, in any one of those, those era, if you are your good pen or your cow farm, whether you have a license for arm or not, if you see any suspicious man not try anything, do not shout to them. Do not call out to them. A two thing, if you dep on your farm and you see suspicious activity, um make sure you do the right thing. Either you are gonna take them out or you are gonna take it yourself. Because the men in the pre in the business are very, very, very heavily armed. Because when them bring the meat upon the boat, go eat it. The, the, the Asian people them contact them now and the money for them. So guess what? Every goat or every cow is actually qualified for get a illegal illegal machine, right? So imagine the persons who are doing that for four, five, six, seven years. Them have access to all kind of guns and ammunition and everything. So so what may I say now? Um the farmers them have to just try to be proactive. And make sure them them stay safe. That that's why I said the other day when when the police try to intercept the guys, what the guys did right was blatantly ram them car in the police jeep in a bit for escape. And when the police when the jeep crash, them man them put it on and the police them. So them thief here and on a petty thief, the man them a part of an organized syndicate. The man them a, a part of an organized syndicate and the man them know how to elude the police. So they might do this years now. So 
the brother when me talk to say them a certain part when them a certain part of, of the journey them turn off them engine um, and paddle the boat so the, them those zones where the coast guard normally there them lock up the light and they normally paddle the boat and take them pass until them reach another zone again they can turn on their light so them man here and navigate the area um, frequently over the over how much years. That's why, that's why when them come to take a goat or a cow, the man them strap. So um, you have some competitive do the same thing, but you know, so there's an organized syndicate who actually do that thing between the coast of Saint Anne, go straight up to Manchanil Saint Thomas, Manchanil Portland Saint Thomas, and there's a more site to go on. I used to go on a Clarendon too, but I never got any information on that. So, I just uh, try to warn the people them, say, do not underestimate those people because they are very much dangerous. Um, it's also um, information I get that there's also some prominent police, some prominent police in the area who are involved. I don't know if or who it is. I never verified the information that I get, but I hear that there's a couple of police involved. So the police them duty would, would to keep would to um elude would to elude the rest of the because some police don't know about it. So the one them who, who know about it, based on me here, when the when the shipment of meat or weed are left the shore, a center and or whatever, man channel to go. Away, them know when to make the boat go away, cause they know when police normally are patrolling and within there. So yeah, and again, the reason why why the, the animal thief, them so aggressive, in you know, them plight, forget your goat, why them come harm if you take a goat, um, is because the business is very lucrative when they actually um, do the exchange. So I'll explain that. Um, normally, right, a goat that it has caused 30,000 Jamaican dollar, right? When the goat got 80 upon the boat, them get an AK, right? So when them bring the AK back to Jamaica, the AK value maybe half a million dollar. So that's why the man them rather, rather not to sell it locally, but to exchange it out and just try to get a big turn around. But by doing so, the man them are uh, infest the place with machine then we have so much then we have more you know more crime are going on. so really the really the, the, the illegal trade is helping them to get rich but it a cost more of the country because when 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 a ordinary boy or man equally um, are more harm than the police Jamaica is in a state of problem we're in a trouble because um, over the years, the police force always, always try to, you know, try to stamp out some things. And sometimes it's like them anti. Because look, at, a police have a normally um, rifle with them patrol with. That are, that are them patrol rifle. But that are with the local boy, them have a play with. Because the man them have bigger, um, bigger caliber, more powerful. And the man them can get it every week. So right now, I don't know, Jamaican a problem star. Because the man them not care about the country. Them all about care about if we get rich. So them are bringing all of the things them come in. All of the all of the big machines them come into the country. But I wonder why the man them could find a way for, for sell the meat for money. No? Because they now get the money for it. So that I wanna that I wanna problem again. So I remember recently, I think in a um, I think a St. Catherine, a policeman that come from, from work. And a car approached him, right? And him drawing fire. Um, when him drawing fire, I realized what I go on. He have him, him service pistol. You know what the man have? The man them have rifle. He have to take one himself, even though he, he defend himself by, by um, you know, by, 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 by put up the man them and shoot back on them. He have to take one himself and get all him to measure all him foot. 